Located in East Africa, Uganda is a landlocked country just slightly smaller than Oregon State. According to Open Doors, there are currently 852 Ugandan students in the United States. This number has steadily been growing over the past few years as more and more Ugandans seek to pursue an education in the United States. The U.S. being well, the, the leading nation in the world means that there's something that they're doing right. And that means that something must come from how they educate their people. I chose to study in the U.S. because I wanted to become an actuary and the course had just begun here at McCurry at the Watson School. The course had been long established, I think 20 years it had been running and I think it would be a better experience for me. Whereas in Uganda you, you get into university and you start off with your course. I'm doing medicine, I'm doing statistics, I'm doing engineering. With the U.S. they said, well, come study for two years, do anything you want. I'm like, what? Two years, do anything you want? That, that's interesting. After two years, you, we hope you have found your dream. And for me, I thought that was interesting because I believe at 18, 17, we pretty much are undecided. So two years of university life allows you to find the right footing, to find your, your true passion. While I went there to become an actuary, I also ended up majoring in finance as well. So I got that background and it gave me a chance to explore other things, other facets of myself. The Education USS Center has guided many students on how to apply for college in the United States and how to do SATs. When I first came into the office, I was like, okay, so sit down. This is the book for your colleges. Find something that you think you might want to do. And then after that, you have to take SATs. And after that, you might have to write a few essays. And after that, you might have to do this. I'm sitting there thinking, do, you, um, do I really want to do this? After the SATs, you have to prepare for the essays, which are, which are numerous. Because you have the, the, the main application essay, the compulsory for everybody. Then each college has about two to three essays. And those have to be unique for all the colleges. So that's a lot of work, a lot of work. It takes a lot of time and dedication. I reached the point when I was writing like nine essays in a week and I thought I couldn't do it. Sometimes I was sleepless nights, but in the end it turned out to be worth it. They called me and they told me, Will, you're in. I mean, first I was in shock because uh, it, it was like unexpected. So it's shock and then excitement and happiness. It was like a whole cocktail of emotions. When I first got the admission, it was mostly excitement. But when I sat down and I started to calm down, I realized I actually didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm going to study with some of the brightest kids in America, probably in the world. Am I sure about what I'm doing? When you get that letter in the mail or online and it tells you, like, congratulations, you're going, you first thought is, oh my god, I can't believe they chose me. What did they see in me and will I be able to live up to that? So it's like excitement immediately followed by anxiety. If you want to study in the U.S., there is a U.S. Education Advising Center in Kampala within the American Embassy in Zambia. It is manned by an Education USA advisor and a U.S. Students Achievers Program coordinator. There are other Education USA centers at the American Corner in Bale, Fort Portal, and the Satellite Center in Barara. Education USA is definitely a good resource. 